Hey everyone, I'm Marina from the Firebase team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with image generation on your client-side apps using Firebase AI Logic. My team and I have been working on Friendly Meals, a meal planning app that uses generative AI to generate delicious recipes based on a list of ingredients that the user provides. On this screen here, the user can provide a list of ingredients they want to use for the recipe, as well as some notes regarding any dietary restrictions or the type of cuisine they like. Firebase AI will use this to generate a recipe. This sounds like an amazing dish, but honestly, don't you think it would be much more compelling if the app also showed an image of the dish? Well, thanks to image generation, we can implement this with Firebase AI logic, so let's see how. There are two models that you can use to generate images, Gemini or Imagine. When using a Gemini model, you can ask the model to generate and edit images using either text only or text and image prompts. With this capability, you can do things like generate and edit images in natural language, generate images with high quality text rendering, including long strings of text, or generating the lived text and image output. You could, for example, generate a blog post with text and images. When using an Imagine model, you can generate images from a text prompt only. With this capability, you can do things like generate images from prompts written in natural language, generate images in a specific aspect ratio or format, and render text in images. Now you may be wondering, OK, but which one of these models should I pick? Well, I can help you with that. For most use cases, start with Gemini, and then choose Imagine for specialized tasks where image quality is critical. So here's a table to help you pick your model. Choose Gemini if you want to use images in your input, use raw knowledge and reasoning to generate contextually relevant images, blend text and images, embed accurate visuals within long text sequences, and edit images within a conversation while maintaining context. Choose Imagine if you want to prioritize image quality, photorealism, artistic detail, or specific styles, for example, impressionism or cartoon and when you want to specify the aspect ratio or format of generated images. Now, regardless of what model you choose, there are some setup steps that you need to do before you can actually call any of these models. First, you need to create a Firebase project and register an app in it. Then you need to enable Firebase AI logic for that project and choose which API you want to use, the Gemini Developer API or the Vertex AI Gemini API. And you can do this in the Firebase console, as you can see here. Both APIs support Gemini and Imagine models. Watch this video to learn more about the difference between these APIs, pricing plans, and all the other offerings available in Firebase AI Logic. So once you've enabled your preferred API, you can add the Firebase AI Logic library to your client-side app. If you're new to Firebase, take a look at this playlist where we teach you how to get started with Firebase on all the platforms that we support. And now you're ready to write some code and interact with Gemini and Imagine models. In this video, I'll be using Kotlin code snippets to explain all the concepts, but you can find the same code samples for other platforms on the GitHub repository for these apps or in the Firebase documentation. I'll leave all the links in the description below. So to generate images with Gemini, first we need to get an instance of Firebase AI and choose the backend. Here we're using the Gemini developer API. Then we need to specify a Gemini model that supports image generation. Next step is to provide a text prompt instructing the model to generate an image. For this app, we'll ask for a professional food photography shot of the generated recipe and provide some details about the style. The final step is to call the generate content function with the prompt we just created and handle the response with the code we see on screen. To use an Imagine model instead, we choose the backend and create an Imagine model instance, as we can see here. Optionally, you can set up a model configuration to specify things like number of generated images, aspect ratio, and image format. For friendly meals, we just need one image with a square aspect ratio. We also need to provide a text prompt instructing the model to generate an image. We'll use the same prompts we used for the Gemini model sample. And finally, we call the generate images function and handle the response. And that's all the code you need to make your first calls to these models to generate images. Right. So now let's see this in action. Here I'm running the version of the code that uses the Imagine model. So first, let me add some simple ingredients like tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, and pasta. Then I'll ask for some Italian dinner and click the button to generate the recipe. 
Oh, this does indeed look good. Also, now I realize I'm getting hungry, so it's time to wrap up. In just a few minutes, you were able to start generating images with AI with Firebase AI logic. If you're interested in adding more AI features to your app, like bi-directional streaming or chat, subscribe to this channel as we'll be publishing more Firebase AI logic tutorials for mobile and web apps soon. Thanks for watching and happy coding.